Hi, my name is Jess Richardson and I am the author of Everything I Know I Learned From My Pimp. And I know that's a crazy title, but see, I am a trafficking survivor, a former sex worker, and I went public with my story in 09. And so I survived the anti-trafficking movement too. And I know that might be a confusing thought. Just trust me, it's been a weird, weird life. And I worked 23 years for this book to come out. Like this is the culmination of so many stories of my life. But you know what? It would really be more powerful if I just read to you from the book because that makes the most sense, right? So first, on the back of it, experience is the mother of all teachers, but she is a reckless, but I don't think I'm allowed to say that. Um, at the hand of her pimp, Jess received a crash course in sales, marketing, negotiation, problem solving, work ethic, and how not to lead. With the help of a sex worker, Jess was able to escape trafficking, but that was only the beginning. Jess went public with her story in 09, determined to change the world. What she discovered was more horrific than she could have ever imagined. That's the truth. Slavery impacts every person on the planet. This is her journey. The paradigm shifts that took a happily married mom of five, ding, that's me, into the forefront of the anti-trafficking movement only to lose everything. And that happened too. She couldn't create solutions while playing by the same rules. So she changed the game. A collection of stories written by Jess Richardson, ding, Fiction, nonfiction, memoir. Oh, and then we have a quote. This is from Mary Rose uh, some, some bra, some Bria, I think. I hope I said her name right. From Verily Magazine. Jess, she is polished, organized, and has what appears to be effortless business savvy. Jess resides in Las Vegas with her husband of 16 years, their children, and together they teach, coach, and laugh with their amazing online community of superpowered humans. So that was the back of the book. That way you kind of know what you're getting into, but I'm not done there. Here's the deal. The foreword was written by my husband of 16 years. And then we get to the intro. And I want to read to you a part of this because... It's powerful. It's a reason why I wrote a book. And this book is 263 pages long. This is not some tiny little ebook. And you know what? If you just want to skip this part, feel free to just go ahead and click the link. The ebook is only $7. And like, I did that because I just want you to have it and to read it because the paradigm shifts are really important. If you're not ready yet, I'll go ahead and read you part of the intro. Ernest Hemingway, it's good to have an end to journey towards, but it is the journey that matters most in the end. Wait, wait, wait. Before you jump into a rant about my trauma bond with my abuser or Stockholm syndrome, I want you to understand my heart. I'm deeply grateful for the experiences in the life, trafficking, abuse, grief, pain, the works. I know I titled this book, Everything I Know I Learned From My Pimp, and it sounds like I give him a lot of credit, and quite frankly, I do. While he was possessive, aggressive, violent, and controlling to the point of being an actual trafficker, he was also human. He was once a little boy with big dreams and a shop owner. He was an individ individual who would stop at nothing to achieve his goals all admirable qualities. My gratitude for him and all my other abusers allowed me to learn from those experiences and grow into the fiercely strong, gentle wife, mother, and human that I am today. While most teens were struggling to get out of bed and get to their first class in high school, I was traveling the country learning sales, marketing, finance, negotiation, team leadership, all at the hand of my pimp. I've often joked that slavery will give you one hell of a work ethic. In 2009, I went public with my story of overcoming trafficking on the evening news. I thought I had some things figured out, but boy, was I ever wrong. 
Years into my journey, I met a number of sex workers as I listened to their experiences and grew to understand the intersections within the sex industry, my own journey became more clear. But then the floor fell away. The very foundation of what I had been teaching was wrong. Not just a little wrong, but do more damage than good wrong. Within a few weeks, I knew I couldn't go on. My heart was broken. We left everything, lost everything, and I went into hiding. I couldn't handle the shame. I didn't know what was right because everything felt so wrong. The world was going mad and I would not go with it. And quite frankly, now the world is going even more mad. The book you're reading sat in my Google Drive unopened for five years. I had a thousand excuses as to why I should never talk about trafficking again. But over and over, I connected with people who benefited from my work. This is, was, and will always be my passion. Inspiring others to be great, to do great things, and to live with great joy. As long as you're breathing, you have the opportunity to heal. You have the opportunity to do something greater. You're amazing and you are worth it. I didn't plan on crying. You never know what's gonna happen some days. <laughs> so we worked to put this book into print and we ran up against all these different publishing issues. Years ago, I actually had an offer. I turned it down because they wanted the rights to my story at the same time, and I didn't do it. That's why the book sat unopened. And then as we went to publish this year, I realized that there were all these restrictions within Amazon, and I'm like, why? Why am I going to publish within a system that I'm working so hard to change? Because trafficking affects all of us. And that's when it hit me. It's not about the system, it's about humanity. And humanity is what I care for. And so I decided to publish outside of the system. The only place you can buy the book is right here. You can only buy it from me. And if you find it for free online, go ahead, read it. Like it's, it's I didn't lock it down in the way of security, but it feels really weird to me to steal a book on trafficking. Like I worked 23 years to make it happen. Seven bucks is a low price to pay. So I'm just going to encourage you, get the book. Believe in yourself. Open yourself up to different perspectives and a different type of humanity because you're worth it. I hope to hear from you. Thank you. I almost forgot we had to edit. So we are getting the most amazing book reviews on this book because, well, it's a good book. And I wanted to read one of them to you. This one is from Sarah H. Brown. She says, everything I know I learned from my pimp is simultaneously powerful, inspiring, and eye-opening while also being raw, heartbreaking, and horrific. Jess is a powerful voice for the issue of sex trafficking, not only because she lived it, but because of her deeply heartfelt compassion, honesty, and awareness. I found myself relaying to many others, to others, many of her insights on how to help survivors out of their hell because it works in many realms besides sex trafficking. Let them, let the survivor find their power. Don't do the work for them or try to save them. It doesn't work. Her message to listen deeper in order to heal and transform the ills of our society couldn't be more true. She sees, she knows, she serviced numerous pastors and policemen, that's true, while being a teenage sex slave. She knows that the problems of society are not black and white, but they run deep. This book is a call to humanity and it couldn't have come at a better time. Bless her for sharing her raw story, for committing to helping others and for opening people's eyes to what lies beneath the mask of so many people living in a country dedicated to freedom, liberty, and justice for all. 
Thank you, Sarah, for that amazing review. But what I love about this is she heard my heart. She read it and she understand that, yes, it's a story. Yes, it's my story. Yes, yes, there's lots of ugly things that happen, but change lies within each one of us. And we have the power to make a difference. Just want to invite you to join me on this journey. <laughs> Bye.